So, um, what made Duke change his mind about turning state's evidence? <sighs> He's worried about keeping Anna and Robin safe. So the mob is still out there, right? Yeah. Bits and pieces of them, friends of friends, you know. Yeah, I guess I know. What the problem is, is that Anna and Duke are in the same place. They, their hands are tied. You just, you know, it's tough to have a future together. Yeah, it is tough. Listen, um, I'm glad you're concerned about people. I really am, but would you like some advice from Big Brother? Must I again? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't dampen it for Felicia. She's had a rough go of it the past few months. What are you talking about, dampen it for Felicia? About the penthouse. Don't spoil it for Frisco. She's a princess, remember? She's your princess. She needs to live in the castle for a while. You're probably right. It's a good piece of advice, Tony. Thank you. For a change. You're absolutely right. There's no reason that I should drag her down with me just because I'm worried about Duke and Anna, especially what I put her through the last few months or so. Well, great. I'm going to go have some coffee. Tony, got anything to eat in there? I'm really hungry. Breakfast, anything's fine. Damn. No, this is anything? remarkable to me. No matter how bad it is, you want to eat. That's Tony. You know, I'd like to be a nuclear war. I feel great to see Duke's penthouse. Well, is it nice to be charmed? Yes. Oh, oh, it's just gorgeous. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, Barbie. We're sitting down in a few minutes. We're sitting down. You need to sit down. Yes, I don't know if I'm imagining it or not, but... Chris was really excited about it at first, and now she... It just seems like what? Like, you mean about living there? Yeah. Well, <laughs> not your imagination. What do you think it is? I don't know. I've been trying to figure it out. Yeah? You told me nuts about the place, right? Oh, yeah. Mm. Well, if there's one thing I do know, it's that Frisco, more than anything else in the whole world, wants to make you happy. Yeah, Thank I know he do. does. Frank, you know, it could be that he's afraid that the other cops are going to resent him for staying in a place like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, you think? Oh, uh, I remember that when we tried to get married at the Quarter May Mansion, mm -hmm. he didn't want to do it there for that very same reason. No, but he would have told you then if that was the reason. No, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the most important thing is our marriage, and it doesn't really matter where we live. Yeah. Be very good. Hello, Rick. Kid, young and old alike. Right. Uh -huh. You want some food on? Uh, uh, no. Listen, I gotta go to GA. Yeah. Get to work. I'm gonna be there later this afternoon. You are? Yeah, Barbara's got a checkup. The baby's got a checkup. Okay. And I have to go Christmas shopping. Yeah. I have so much yeah. next to do. Yeah. What are you doing here, you little? I'm part of the station. Come here, you little. Where are you gonna put your Christmas tree? Uh. Oh, no, we hadn't even thought of that. Barbara's too oh. little to be in the swing of things on Christmas. No Christmas tree? Sounds like screw oh, Christmas tree. Oh, baby's tired. At least give me a reason why you're not going to turn state's evidence. I can't give you a reason. So this was a wild goose chase. You are definitely not going to turn state's evidence? No, I am not, Mr. Lombardi. I intend to plead no guilty to the charges, but I have no confession to make, none at all. Look, do you know what you're doing to yourself? I don't need to waste any more of my time. No, 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 come on, wait. Wait, Lombardi, wait a minute. I want an answer, Duke. Yes, I know. And you're willing to spend the rest of your life in jail? Well, that is not the point. I have made up my mind. I think this was a hoax right from the beginning. Come on, Lombardi, how can you say that? Maybe he's trying to make fools of us. No. Or maybe he's trying to give his old friends in the mob some time to work on their alibi. Come on, you're stretching it, Lombardi, and you know it. Listen to me, Duke. We have said enough. No, we haven't said enough. Do you know that Lombardi and I have the judge waiting right now to give him these tapes and the information that's supposed to be on it? Do you know what's going to happen if he doesn't get this? He's going to give the DA permission to throw the book at you. That's an understatement. Does Anna know about this? Anna. Mm -hmm. uh, before you go in there. Yeah, well, I'm going to go in there. Yeah, I, yeah. I want to prepare you for something first. No. What's going on? What's wrong? What's the matter? Anna, I'm not turning state's evidence. What? Why not? Ask him. Our futures depend on this. Come on, this can't be true. Is this true, Anna? I'm not turning.
anything states evidence of my decision is final. I believe that. Yes, it is a bit difficult to believe, isn't it? I've been trying to talk some sense into him. Didn't you talk to Anna? Well, this is the first moment I've had with him when she hasn't been on the run. What is going on? Will you tell me about this? If there's an explanation, I'd like to hear it, too. A note was delivered to me. A threat was made to me and to you and to Robin. But there's all kinds of sick cranks out there. Anna, stop it. No, I won't. Stop listen. It. Well, you listen you're to the, the man. You're the chief of police. You understand the mob activities and mob loyalties. If one mob is stamped out, it's quite possible that the others will take revenge on anybody who talks. I know, but we've caught all the men from Sister Island. There's been one attempt on Duke's life already. Listen to the man. I apprehended a hit man right here in this hospital room. We should have been told about that. Why wasn't I told? You're serious. There was a hit man in this hospital? Yes, he's been nailed. I have uh, arranged for additional protection. I should have been told about this. Well, now at least I understand your fears. For Anna and Robin. Those are the only fears that count. I want to speak to Duke Lanky. Anna? Yes, please. I want you all to wait outside in the corridor. Please. I knew something was wrong yesterday. Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to. I, I tried. You should have told me. You've been through so much. So much grief along with the danger and it's all been, it's all been because of me. That's not true. It's not true at all. We're in this together. We take the bad times with the good. That's what love with commitment is all about. I just don't understand why you told Robert and you didn't tell me. I couldn't have avoided telling him. He caught the man who was sent here to kill me. He should have told me about that. If I were him, I wouldn't have told you. All right. All right, that's one thing. It's something else and you're not going to turn state's evidence. Now, I'm not going to let you sacrifice yourself just to protect me and Robin. I couldn't live with that. Yes, you could. When it comes to Robin, yes, you could. I've got to think about Robin first. You know, I mean, if you caught the hitman, perhaps that's it. Perhaps you're safe now. Oh, Anna. It's strange. How many times I, I told you the opposite. Now I have to tell you to think with your head and not with your heart. You know I'm in danger. And you know that you and Robin are targets too. Right. There's only one way we can play this. You turn state's evidence under the witness protection program. No. Yes, that way we'll all be safe. No, I won't allow that. I will not permit it. You would drastically have to change your lives. I won't allow you to put Robin through that. All right, then. I'll send Robin off to Australia with Holly and Robert. I think that'll make you That's what I'm going to do. Sacrifice. No, Anna. Robert! Robert, will you come with me? What is it? I want to speak to you. I want to tell you about this plan. Don't listen to her, Robert. Would you take Robin for a while in Australia with you and Holly? I will not let you and Robin be separated, Anna. Can you? I can see what you're doing. Good. No, it isn't. The next few years are very important for Robin. Not just she a... has to spend them with her mother. Not as I want my daughter. Uh, I have to agree with Duke. And there's more to it. Are you prepared to go into hiding? Yes. For God knows how many years. Yes. And to be on guard for goodness yes. knows how yes. long. Oh, well, yes. wait a minute. This is absurd. I mean, Lord knows I care for my daughter, but I'm not about to have her mother live like a hermit. I'm a cop. I'm used to being on guard. It's no good. He's right. Stop ganging up on me, both of you. Why oh, do you think ahead? Yes. Please, I think I'm ahead. I'm thinking ahead. I'm in love with this man and I want to marry him. Oh, uh, look, um, I just realized this Jake is waiting to go and see the judge. Well, we have to speak to him. We've got to stall him so I can talk some sense into Duke. Excuse me, it's time for Mr. Mosley's medication. Visitors will have to leave. Okay, Anna, I'll find an empty room and we can continue this little chat. I'm not going to let you sacrifice yourself. <laughs> 